All right, so here's another, pro, another problem. The Ka of a weak monoprotic acid is 2.9 times 10 to the minus 5. What is the pH of a 0 0.0913 molar solution of this acid? So we ask ourselves the same question. Is this an acid or base? Well, it says it's an acid. And is it weak or strong? Well, it says it's weak. So this one kind of does our first, um, answers our first two questions for us. We already know that this is a weak acid. So when we're, whenever we're solving for pH, this is always what we're trying to solve. pH equals the negative log of H3O plus. So how do we get H3O plus? Well, I set up my ice table, HA, H plus, plus A minus, have an ice table. And remember, by the way, H3O plus is equivalent to H plus. You see me using those interchangeably right here. H3O plus is what this calculation is calling for, but I put H plus over here. Remember, these are, are the same. We can use these interchangeably. So whatever I start with here, my initial amount, and then my, I have 0 and 0. I have some change, minus x, plus x, plus x. So I'm going to have initial minus x, x, and x, right? So how do I, what is the concentration of H3O plus? The concentration of H3O plus is x for my ice table, right? H3O plus right here. So when I'm trying to calculate the pH, I'm really trying to solve this, this problem, negative log of x, because I have to find x from my ice table. When this is a strong acid or a strong base, finding x is pretty easy, especially when it's a strong acid, because then we find H plus directly, because it's equal to I, right? I minus x equals 0, so I equals x, or x equals I. So what I mean by that is we just saw in a strong acid or a strong base problem, if I know what the initial concentration of the acid or base is, then I know what x is, because this will just go to 0 at equilibrium. But for a weak acid or base, I don't know what X is. And what's the difference between weak and strong? The, dif the difference is the equilibrium constant. How big is the equilibrium constant? In this problem, it's 2.90 times 10 to the minus fifth. That's pretty small. Strong acids have equilibrium constants that are 1,000 or 10,000 or a million or 10 million. The equilibrium constant for a strong acid or base is very, very, very large. Therefore, this it goes forward completely, and this is zero at equilibrium. The equilibrium constant for a weak acid or a weak base is generally very, very, very small. Therefore, x is going to be pretty small at equilibrium too. What if I start off with some amount of I, some amount of HA, some amount of initial acid, and I have a small equilibrium constant, that means that at equilibrium, most of this is going to be left. That means that this will dissociate very, very little. So that means that X is going to be a very, very small number in that case. I don't know exactly what X is going to be. I have to run through the whole equilibrium thing and do the uh, ice table and make my equilibrium expression. And sometimes I even have to solve a quadratic to find X when it's weak. So weak acids and weak bases are much more difficult than strong acids or strong bases. So let's try to solve x in this one. Let's plug in these numbers. So my initial concentration is 0 0.0913. So this is 0 0.0913 minus x. My equilibrium expression, this says this is a monoprotic acid, so this is fine. This equation that I just wrote, this is a monoprotic acid. So then how do I make my equilibrium constant? I put products over reactants. So at equilibrium, this is x and x. H plus is x. I mi A minus is x, and HA is 0 0.0913 minus x. And KEQ is equal to this number here. So I have 0 0.0913 equals x squared over 
0.0913 minus x. We have to solve for x. And once I solve for x, then I have the H plus concentration. And then I can plug it into this equation and solve for the pH. So remember our shortcuts. One shortcut is the x is small approximation. If x is small, then I can ignore x right here. And if I can ignore x right here, oh, I copied this down wrong. This shouldn't, this is not KEQ. KEQ is 2.9 times 10 to the minus 5. If x is small, then I can ignore x right here, right? And then that would make this math a lot easier. So let's ignore x right now. Do you remember how we can determine if we're allowed to ignore x? We can look at the ratio of the concentration, initial concentration of acid to the KEQ, and we can determine if that is 400 or greater. Because what we're trying to say is, if x is small, then it's okay to ignore it. But what does small mean? We have to set some parameters for what we mean by small. So let's put HA over KEQ And if this number is greater than or equal to 400, then it's OK for us to ignore x. 0 0.0913 divided by 2.9 EE minus 5 equals 3,148, which is indeed bigger than 400. So it's OK for us to ignore x. So we can use the shortcut. We can ignore x, draw a big x through it. I don't know if that helps. And then I'll solve for x by bringing this number over here, multiplying both sides by this number, and then taking the square root. So x squared equals 2.9 times 10 to the minus fifth times 0 0.0913 after I ignore x, and then x equals the square root of 2.9 EE minus 5 times 0 0.0913 equals 2.6477 times 10 to the minus 6, then we take the square root x equals 1.63 times 10 to the minus 3. All right, so finally, now we know what x is. If we know what x is, we know what h plus is. If we know what h plus is, then we can plug it in over here and solve for pH. pH equals negative log of x. pH equals negative log of 1.63. 6, 3 times 10 to the minus third two point seven All right, finally, let's solve for the pH of a weak base. Okay, so um, again, we, we answer, we ask ourselves those first two questions first, acid or base weak or strong. You can see why it, it matters because we know, have to know if we're solving for H plus or OH minus. So this does not tell if it's an acid or base. It says calculate the pH of this. I know this is not an acid because it doesn't have H in front and it doesn't have COOH. So it is not a strong base but it is a base because it has a nitrogen in it. So 
So this is a base. It's not strong, but weak. So this is a weak base. So a weak base, I know that it's going to go NH3 plus H2O NH4 plus plus OH minus. So this is what bases do. It's what weak bases do. So my initial concentration is point seven or one molar. Water drops out because it's a pure liquid. Zero, zero. Minus x plus x plus x. So this is point seven four one minus x x x. All right. Oh, another clue that this was a base. It gives me a KB instead of a KA. So KB is just a different K. Remember, we've been over this. It doesn't matter if it's KA or KB or KEQ or KC. They're all the same. They're products over reactants. Products NH4 plus OH minus over reactants. Reactants NH3 All right, NH4 plus is, eight, is X, OH minus is X, and NH3 is 0 0.741 minus X. This is all equal to KB, which is 1.8 times 10 to the minus 5. All right, can we ignore X? How do we do it? We look at this ratio. 0 0.741 molar divided by KB. 8 times 10 to the minus fifth. Is this greater than 400? 0 0.741 divided by 1.8 EE minus 5. This is 41,000. So, yes. Greater than or equal to 400. Check. So, again, what that means is that if, if this is if this number is big, greater than 400, then this number is small. So that means we can ignore it. So solving this problem just got a lot easier. Now to solve this problem, just like we did in the last one, run through the algebra and what you get to is x equals the square root of 0.741 times 1.8 times 10 to the minus fifth. Three point six five times 10 to the minus three. And this x is this, all right, equals the OH minus concentration. So now we have to remember that what we're doing is solve, we just solved for a base, not an acid. So I can solve POH equals negative log of OH minus, minus which is 3.65 times 10 to the minus 3. So the pOH equals 2.44. Therefore, the pH equals 14 minus 2.44. Which is eleven point five six.